Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. I'm trying something a little bit different to try to alleviate some of the bitrate issues I've been having. I don't know if it'll work. It's worth a shot though, right? <laughs> it's better than leaving the quality where it was, where everything's just a little bit blurry. Now, for the first time like ever, you're not directly next to that piece of fence. So if I remember correctly, we hunted down a fox last time. Yeah. And a bird, apparently. Capper's sill or whatever it is. Drop those then. So, which are we on? A catch. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Well, it could be. But I hope it won't be. One thing I wish they would implement actually is bow fishing. If you don't know what that is, it's basically when you fish with a bow. It's not a difficult concept, I guess. But, yeah, it's a real thing people do. I don't know why people do it, but... I don't know, I guess they like to. It would be interesting to see it in the game, though. I'm not sure what advantages it would have over other fishing. Probably none, now that I think of it. I mean, you're still limited to fishing on the shore like you are with the javelin. It requires more material to work with. It's not really that great. Wow, I still can't catch a fish. Okay. Well, the fire's probably out. Hmm, not quite. Sorry, um, my mouth is a little damaged again. It happens. Kind of often, but... This is the best it's been all day, so I decided to record. Finish these hides finally. And we should probably check the traps again. Our fishing skill is really terrible. I didn't realize how bad it was. This is impressively bad, though. Where's our fishing? It's, um, 27%. Yeah, it's terrible. I wonder we're not able to catch anything. check the traps, and while we're here, I want to try out favorableness of the trap. Is that a bear print? Looks like it. It looks old, though. It looks like it walked right up to the trap, saw it, and turned back. Which I can't really blame it for. I think we set these a while ago. And I don't know if our trapping skill at the time determines it. 
how visible it, it is, but that would make sense to me. See it. Ah, there you are. You're already alert, though. That's not good. Mm, that's us. I think. Certainly saw us. This bird, however, it's flying high, so we're probably not going to get a good shot, but nope. Not a good try at all. Where'd the arrow go? It's going off in this general direction, I think. Hmm. Damn, I guess we lost an arrow. Flew a really long way, though. Some crowberry shrubs. I don't really care that much about them, though. Can stop hiding now. Pretty safe to say we lost our bird and the stag. Oh well. I'll just let go. It's not that big of a deal. Not exactly starved right now. If we're lucky, we scared that stag towards the trap fence anyway. So I doubt we're that lucky, but maybe. Okay. Time to try our hand at fishing again, I guess. We just need to catch one fish. Even a roach will do, I think. weird. I guess our camp is on the border of two tiles on the overworld map. So technically here we're still in the wilderness and here we're not or something, I guess. Weird. Oh well. Come on, just need one fish, game. There we go. Yes, we got a catch. It was terrible, but it was a catch. Building, I've already showed in the game, but it doesn't recognize it backwards like that. I wish it did, actually. That'd be pretty nice. Then you won't be able to repeat the quest, I guess. Well, 
Was it our sheep wrestling? Sheep do that sometimes. Beat the supernatural guardian. Okay. Not tired enough to sleep at midnight. That sounds familiar. Okay, that's still being prepared and everything. So, what's next on the list? Building? Yeah. Does it have to be... Yeah, I think it has to be, like, a proper house house. So something like the one we have here. Which is pretty annoying. Because that means we have to gather materials and build an entire new wall. Alternatively, we can do this. Which will still take a long time, but not nearly as long. What I'm doing is just deconstructing this corner, and I'm going to rebuild it. Probably the easiest way to do that. I really don't feel like expanding our cabin right now. Got more important things to do, I think. Hmm. Bitrate looks about the same as it has in the other videos, so maybe this didn't help at all. That's disappointing. If not, I'll have to try to think of something else, I guess. I think it might just be that I don't have the processor power for it to work as well as I want it to. I'm recording on a pretty old computer. Not because I particularly want to, but it's what I have. You know. Why are some of these things transparent? Like these trees up here. They shouldn't be transparent, I don't think. Hope the game's not bugging out. That'd be really annoying. And yeah, that counts for our building. And that gives us seeds. I think opening the wall might have put our fire out. I'm pretty sure it stops the smoking process if you have it going, but eh, whatever. We have plenty of food. Where is our... Didn't we have kepper sale still? I guess not. What can it tell me about these? No information about that topic. Wonderful. Okay, well, before we get started farming, I'm gonna need to chop some more firewood. And you'll see why in a moment. But it's probably the best way to do this that I know of. Okay. Just 
and all four of these back here. And this will be our little farm plot for right now. And basically what I'm doing here is just setting it up so when we light this far end the fire can spread to all of these. And now we have to try 30 times for fire probably. Hopefully this fire will spread. That's what we want. Because if the fire spreads, then we don't need to use nearly as much fuel. And there it goes. Good. And hopefully I can just wait this out. There we go. Good. That will be out soon. I think we had a shovel over here. Yep. Actually, they might have given us one as part of this. They did. It's nice of them. Well, I'm gonna push that other shovel over into the random junk to trade pile then. Now, all day, prepare soil. There we go. Repeat. And we're just going to do this for every one of these tiles. And this is how you till the soil, basically. Um, a bit tired. I'm just going to sleep here. Doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm not sure if that firewood thing is an exploit, but honestly, even if he, even if the developers change it so that you can't use, you can't spread a fire when there's insufficient fuel like that, I would just do the same thing only with six piles of firewood on each pile. It's just so much faster than setting up an individual fire fire for every spot. This is a very small plot. Um, if you're doing large plots, 
usually it's better to start them somewhere away from your cabin. I don't know if it's still a factor now, but a few versions ago there was a item overflow bug where if you had too many items on one map tile, stuff would start despawning to make room. Basically, not a good thing. Okay, now we have to wait until these burnt out fires are gone. Which is what it means by the ground cooling if you're reading that bottom section. If the quality is even good enough for you to read that, I'm not sure. And then we can plant some stuff. I don't know if it's too late in the season to plant anything. I hope not. Oh wait, I don't want dried food. I want smoke because it doesn't last as long. But yeah, I'm not sure if it's too late in the season to actually successfully grow something or not. It may well be. But I'm gonna try. That's all I can do, I guess. Alright, okay, well, now that that's taken care of, I guess I'm gonna rest off this fatigue and go see if I can find any trouble. Hmm. No. We don't have anything to trade, really. Especially not for the stuff the traveling merchants have. I guess I should show you the kind of stuff they carry, though. Where's it? Come back here. Assholes. Where'd you go? There. Foreign traders. So he's got... A battle sword, a warhammer, a fine battle sword, and leather leggings. This friend down here has a mace, a masterwork ring, half helm, and some other junk I don't really care about. Um, stuff I don't care about. A fine dagger, ring shirt, male halberdian. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a breastplate of some sort. Like a no, that would be a hauberk, I think. Huh? I have no idea. I'll have to look that up later. Masterwork heavy crossbow. I think foreign traders are the only way to get crossbows, just like in the game entirely. I usually don't bother with crossbows because. You don't really see them enough to raise up your skill before you can afford really expensive ones. And by that time, I usually have enough skill with a bow that it just doesn't feel worth it to me. There's no, like, elk or anything around, though. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I guess there really aren't. Oh, well, back home. Let's see if our fields are ready yet. Yep. Did they give us turnip seeds? Um, broad beans, barley grains. I think it's too late for barley grain. Wish it weren't though, because barley grains are probably one of my favorite things to grow. Eh, I'll try it. Just three of them though. I'm gonna keep some of my seeds just in case it is too late in the season. Um I really don't feel like going and looking it up. Yep, we agricultured. We already have a domestic animal.
yeah, barley grains, you don't get nearly as much of per fistful as you do for some of these other things. I don't know if any of this will actually grow in. Might be too late in the season. But, I'll give it a shot. Oh, did I manage to plant ex pick up exactly enough? That's weird. I think attaching a rope to our sheep again will count for the domestic animal. Never tried that though, I'm going to. I think you actually have to trade though. Wow, it actually worked. What the fuck? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So, we're actually pretty close to done then. That's really strange. How the fuck did that work? I'm not even gonna question it anymore. Whatever, it... that just happened. I never actually knew that. I was expecting it to fail pretty spectacularly, if I'm honest with you. Uh, it doesn't look like anything came by in the past couple days while we were dicking around at the house. Ooh, never mind. Aw. Ran right the fuck through. Oh well. Happens. Going northeast, okay, so it's going away from us. Should be far enough away though. Probably passed through a couple hours ago. No, because they were fresh. Hmm. Must be pretty close by then. Huh. Maybe it's worth looking. Is our trapping skill looking actually pretty bad? Okay, well that explains quite a bit. Is there anything around here? Don't seem it. Hmm. Well, kind of at a loss what of what to do now. Everything has gone better than I expected it to. is weird. Things don't normally work out for me when I'm recording. It's probably not going to last. So I'm just going to explore a little. Mm, can't sleep in the rain. Can't see very far from here anyway. Stopped raining? Nope. Kinda hoping I find a village somewhere. It's in like a better walking range than the ones we've been to. If you're not gonna sleep, then at least stand up. Near Pizzit Warrior? I think so. Vagabond, though. That usually means there's 
the village around. Bear cuts, hand axe, cord, and a knife. Um, well, enjoy your nap, guy. What do you mean there's no tree? There's a tree right there. down the tree. Get down the tree or pass that trying. One of the two. Yeah, I'm just making a little shelter so we can actually sleep. Vagabond just cut down a tree. <laughs> it's one of the weird things the NPCs do in this game for some reason. Like, they don't even need to, like, use it for anything. They just cut it down for no reason that I've found. I find it really interesting that they do that. Like, it gives some personality to them, I guess, but at the same time, they almost never do anything with it as far as I've seen. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen one do anything with that. So it just seems kind of strange to have them do it at all. Let's go down there where we've already been, I think. I'd like to find, like, a vagabond village. Are we even in territory for that, though? Yeah, we are. Huh. going on here. More water. <laughs> exactly what we needed. Our sight range is down quite a bit. I try to sleep until the morning. I'm out of food. Mm. That's not good. Guess we could go like trade a shovel. Black grouse. Sure. catch it. Flying and escaping is a bad combination if you want to hit it with a ranged attack, basically. Hmm. Nothing. This place is pretty desolate. Not necessarily a bad thing. It does make finding villages a bit annoying though. Guess we should start heading back. I don't really want to though.
How big are you? It's a regular size bear. Hmm, I'm too far away from home for it to be worth grabbing it. knowing that in any of these little like pockets that we're not seeing, a town could easily hide too though. It's not really a town, is it? It's more of a village, I guess. Either way, we need to get back home. Vagabond Hunter. Arrows, a snare, a bunch of stuff I don't care about, and food. Settlement in the southeast at the region called Veshkin's 10 kilometers of Vagabond Village. But I already know about that. Hmm. I guess that's on the other side of the river. So, what do you have to trade? No, 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 no. Oh, he won't share his food with us. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna kill him for it. We have plenty of food back home. Where am I? Once we get home, it will be time to end the episode because it's been going on a bit long. And yeah, our milk just brought us from malnourished to insufficient in one gulp, basically. Milk is pretty good. Okay. I'd like to start this fire before I close out the episode. Alright. That's going to be it for today, folks. See you next time. Bye.